Jai Gurudev, uh, to begin, could you tell us about the significance of Saundarya Lahiri within Vedic traditions? Jai Gurudev, thank you for having me. The Saundarya Lahiri, composed by Adi Shankaracharya, is a revered text in our tradition. It embodies a profound blend of philosophy, devotion, and aesthetics, celebrating the divine feminine energy represented by Goddess Shakti. This work encapsulates the beauty and power of the Goddess, exploring her various aspects and the benefits derived from her worship. The verses you shared emphasize different themes such as mastery over works, victory in love, and healing. Can you explain these themes in the context of Sondere Lahiri? Absolutely, each verse of the Sondere Lahiri presents unique attributes of the goddess and the transformative power of her grace. For instance, the lines about mastery over words celebrate a divine connection between language and creativity. It highlights that those who worship her again, her gain eloquence and become great poets akin to literary luminaries. In verses celebrating victory in love, we see the depiction of how meditating on the goddess draws celestial beings towards the devotees, symbolizing the magnetic pull of the divine love. Moreover, the healing themes uh, such as curing fevers and other ailments illustrate the goddess's nurturing aspect. Devotees believe that by invoking her, one can overcome physical and emotional maladies. The poetry is rich with metaphors and vivid imagery. Could you elaborate on how these contribute to its uh, devotional impact? The metaphors are crucial in conveying deeper spiritual truths. Take, for example, the description of the goddess's beauty phrases like the luster of your beautiful body evoke not just physical allure but symbolize the divine light that dispels darkness. Such imagery allows devotees to visualize and connect with the goddess on multiple levels, emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually. Each verse is crafted not just as a prayer, but as an invitation to experience the divine. The use of nature, celestial bodies, and personal attributes creates a rich tapestry that resonates with the human experience, helping practitioners cultivate a deeper devotional and understanding. It seems that the text also touches upon social and personal well-being, such as uh, attracting happiness and removing fears. How does this reflect the holistic approach of Vedic traditions? Indeed, the Sandhya Lahiri embodies a holistic vision where spirituality intertwines with everyday life. The verses address not only personal spiritual aspirations but also societal harmony. For example, the goddess is invoked for prosperity, peace and protection from malevolent forces. This reflects the Vedic belief that uh, spiritual practices have tangible effects on our lives. The meditative and devotional acts described in the text are meant to align the practitioner's energies with the divine, promoting overall well-being and stability in both personal and communal spheres. Can you share how the Sondera Lahiri is traditionally practiced within communities? Traditionally, recitation of uh, the Sondera Lahiri is performed during rituals, festivals, and uh, personal devotions. Communities gather to chant the verses which is believed to invoke the goddess's blessings. Uh, some also incorporated into daily sadhana, reflecting on its meanings and see seeking personal transformation. In temples dedicated to the goddess, these verses are often chanted to create an atmosphere of divine presence. Special ceremonies might focus on specific standards related to health, wealth or knowledge, aligning the community's intentions with the goddess's attributes. Finally, how do you see the Sandhya Lahiri influencing contemporary spiritual practices? The Sandhya Lahiri remains highly relevant today in an era where many seek spiritual solace and guidance. Its teachings on love, beauty and healing resonate strongly. The emphasis on the divine feminine encourages balance between masculine and feminine energies and spirituality, making it appealing to a broad audience. Workshops, online teachings and social media platforms are introducing this wisdom to younger generations, fostering a revival of interest in traditional practices. It stands as a reminder that spirituality can be both deeply personal and universally applicable, guiding individuals towards a more harmonious existence. Thank you for sharing these insights. Our Sandhya Lahiri indeed seems to be a timeless treasure of Vedic wisdom. Thank you for having me. It's been a joy to discuss such a significant work that continues to inspire and uplift many on their spiritual journeys. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Could you? Jai Gurudev.